hi beautiful welcome back to another video so this video is going to be extensive because we're doing a few things i'm going to be cutting my nails down shorter we're going to be getting rid of any lifting i'm going to do a fill and we're going to repurpose this design okay so i'm showing you that typically you have lifting on the nails that you apply the most pressure on so like the fingers that you hold a pencil with you're going to have lifting on that middle finger and then for me the fingers that I use to like hold the practice hand or any like fingers when I'm doing nails um, that nail has more lifting because I'm applying pressure and it's causing the um, the acrylic to separate from the natural nail okay so I'm going in with JC Beauty Concepts 5-in-1 Tornado Bit this one is the coarse bit and I'm going to use this to bring my nails down they were getting really long especially with the growth i've had these on for about i think it's it was about almost uh four months <laughs> almost a month so almost four weeks and i was like let me get this fill done I do have a coupon code with JC Beauty Concepts if you're interested in the five in one tornado bit it's amazing it's jammy 15 so take advantage of that i always leave the links in the description box so i'm going to go through and i'm going to measure them against each other and bring them all down and then also pay attention to where i place my hands and how i balance them so that i can do this on myself so you'll be you'll be able to see if or how i do it on my dominant hand and using the e-file in my non-dominant hand hopefully that doesn't make sense okay i'm a little rusty but i'm warming up okay i will come back once that's done same bit i'm gonna go in and remove all of the bulk what this does is it's going to rebalance the nail we're going to make it thinner and get rid of where the apex used to be because now it's grown out and it's further down so we're going to make that area flatter okay so we're just going to focus mainly on that area now in this case since i did cut my nails down that would mean that my tips are a little thicker so i do have to go down towards the tip and um, basically make my tips a little thinner so we're rebalancing two areas so you want to make sure you you know remove a lot of the bulk and then once i'm done with this step you're going to obviously you're going to do this on all of your nails it is a process but you know it has to be done unless you chose i know that there's the option to cut them down and just do a new set but i'm just showing you how you can repurpose a design or say you know you're still in love with your glittery set and you want to make it a little bit different but keep the same color theme going then this is a good option okay again i'm showing you how i level everything out and thin out the tip very important as you're going through this process you're going to take advantage and any lifting you might have you're going to take 
the tip of your bit or let's say zone one as we would say and you're going to file behind the lifting you'll be able to tell where your lifting is because it is lighter in that area it looks like some say it's like a you know like a it looks like a bubble or you know it is lighter lifted any of those terms you want to file right behind it and just enough to get down close to the natural nail but you don't want to get to the natural nail obviously you want to make it easy to remove for it to flake off when you do eventually file and prep you'll be able to see when i do i think i have lifting on my on both middle fingers actually so it's the middle finger i use to hold the e-file and then the middle finger i use to you know hold the finger when i'm doing nails that's where i get most of my lifting but if i do have other lifting you'll just see just file behind it so pay attention to that i hope that's helpful and once i'm done with this whole step <laughs> i will come back que comenta yeah. sé que estás pa' mí nunca vas a estar en venta quiero volverme viejito contigo a los 60 solo contigo bebé solo contigo bebé que ponga nuestra canción I'm 
a nuestra canción Y nos acordamos cuando en esos días había pasión All right, so that step is done. Keep in mind, my nails are long, so it is definitely a process, you guys. But once that step is done, along with rebalancing comes reshaping as well. So you want to rebalance, you know, your apex and your free edge. I think I was saying the nail tip before, but whatever term you're used to, okay? Your free edge, your nail tips. Um, you want to go in, and I'm going in with Tammy Taylor's 100 grit file and i'm just quickly as you can see just reshaping everything to my liking everything was okay so now i'm gonna go in with my cuticle pusher push the cuticle back this is exposes new growth it also helps with lifting any dead skin that's attached to the natural nail and then i'm gonna go in with a needle bit i get these on amazon they are listed on my amazon storefront link is always in the description box but i go in with the needle bit and i just get into the side walls and in the little grooves and make sure i get rid of any dead skin that is attached to the natural nail plate this really helps with lifting you guys so i go through on all 10 nails and then once i'm done with that i will go in with the sanding band and basically just remove and prep my natural nail or remove <laughs> remove and prep we're not going to remove my natural nail <laughs> we're going to remove the natural oils from my natural nail and we're also going to use this step to blend or yeah blend the acrylic or the growth with your natural nail okay and also as you can see i'm filing remember that lifted spot i had in that nail it just flaked right away so it's important to do that first step and you don't have to be digging you know at that spot with just a sanding band it just makes it a little bit faster Again, this step is just like any other prep, but you're using the sanding band to blend the acrylic nail to the natural nail or the acrylic to the natural nail so that your application to fill is nice and smooth. You got a nice clean canvas. All right, so I'm going to come back on the next step. Que ese sentimiento no se compara a nada. Ay, como extraño tus besos. Y me arrepiento que mentí, ya no hay nada. Es que tú me encantas. Y ya se mira. all right so as you guys saw i measured my nails all against each other just making sure they're all even i dust all the debris away and i'm going in with everything nice and clean and fresh i'm using young nails swipe and i'm using a manicure brush to get all of the debris out of the grooves and the sidewalls of the nails and this helps you cleanse now i'm going in with jc beauty concepts dehydrator and i dehydrate my natural nails now i'm going in with young nails protein bond I believe I only go in with one coat. Once you're done with all 10 nails, we're going to get into acrylic application. Now, I'm going to go in with the same color I used before, which is the Cover Pink by JC Beauty Concepts and their monomer. I show it to you here. 
So it's the same covered pink I used from the last set. And then I'm going with Tammy Taylor's acrylic brush. Again, I'm still just testing it out. I figured it would be good for Phil since it does have a smaller tip. And so I'm going in and applying as needed. As you guys can see, it's so nice to work with. I love the covered pink by JC Beauty Concepts. Now I'm going in with Young Nails Extra, Extra, Extra White. And this white stood out so nicely because I wanted to create kind of like a, you know, like a beach, a crashing wave on the beach vibe. And I wanted it to stand out. And I also needed it to be able to cover the V shape that I had on my, on the nails, on my other nails. Okay. So basically it served two purposes, but yes, it is nice and opaque. So I was able to do that. And this was a great way to repurpose this design. I do feel like um, I could have gone a little bit thinner. I don't know. I, I guess it's just because I wanted to add more glitter and do more things to it. Um, but I didn't really need to do that. I felt like the white glitter gave it kind of like a bubbly effect. Like there were bubbles in the wave. I probably still could have used the, um, the V-cut, but... I don't know I just I wanted it to look different so as you can see I used a clear I combine a little bit of clear and make it um, very thin so that it does look like that you know bubbly water effect and then I add some mylar and then I add I also add the iridescent glitter and it makes it look like bubbles and I don't know, that was my intention behind that and I try to just cap in the areas that I add something and I do it in that area because that is the apex and the apex is allowed to be the highest point of your nail okay <laughs> so I just did it in that area but if you like your nails to be a little thinner then just keep it keep it thinner or file a little more off okay so I'm just gonna let you see how I'm just freestyling and trying to be a little bit creative I'll let you see how I fill in around the cuticle area again if you're putting a bead or placing a bead up at the cuticle angle your finger down so that you do not flood your cuticle and um yeah and just be creative trust the process it's not don't take it too serious okay at the end of the day you're gonna file it's gonna look cute and don't be afraid to use your imagination and just be creative all right i'm gonna come back in the next step you guys no sé que tú ves en mí mi amor ya no dejes de mirarme que ya me gusta quien soy contigo me siento en control eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que habló en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Y me enamoré a volverlo a ver Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para Diciendo que no ven que no ven. esto se ha dura, pero que es algo sincero que un perro no cambia y eso es lo que es él. Pero tú lo viste, mi amor. Es yeah. mi mejor versión. Tú hiciste lo que nadie quería. Se dispo para mis poesías. Que toque tú solo sabes. Se rico comparte más. Que siento reales Yo lo prefiero que en un largo tiempo Sea tu caballero Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Tú me curas cuando más me duele Sé que siempre has sabido amarme Se volvió ese chico 
Disco que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Y me enamoré a volverlo a ver Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Tú me curas cuando más me duele Sé que siempre has sabido amarme Solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Como se lo mami contra la pared No me dice nada y todo se le ve El perreo no se acaba hasta las tres Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Como se lo mami contra la pared No me dice nada y todo se le ve El perreo no se acaba hasta las tres tiene belleza, y mueve ese booty más con tremenda certeza. Hay con esos ritmos y un par de cervezas. Ya nos ambientamos porque esta apenas comienza. Y en vez de que nada de lo que veo acá, nadie lo comprará, no está a la venta. Y yo le digo más, si te perreas más, me empeñaría ya para esa vuelta. Como tú te mueves así, bien, bien, mami. Y con gusto toda la vuelta. Es que como la playa de Miami. La baby confía, perrea de noche pero va a sentar de día Me dice al DJ que le pongo una de tono Si no un perreito pa' moverlo bien cabrón Que le saca ritmo a cualquier canción Y que tiene un cantato y cerrado el corazón Ya, ya, como tú te mueves así bien, bien mami Y con gusto toda la vuelta Busca como la playa de Miami Cuando con mami tú estás That is definitely a process. <laughs> I'm going in with Tammy Taylor's 100 grit file again, and I'm just gonna do some more reshaping because you do lose the shape a little bit when you apply acrylic. So I'm going under and getting all the little jagged pieces that might get stuck under the side walls. And then I'm also just retouching on the shape and on my nail tips or the free edge. For shaping, you want to make sure that you're holding the file straight up against the side walls. You want to keep it nice and parallel. So when you look at it at a bird's eye view, it should be straight up against your side wall, not angled or anything, literally straight up against your side walls. So try to keep that side wall nice and straight. And then depending on the shape, if you have a little bit more of a tapered square or a coffin, then you're going to angle it 
it's still going to be straight up against your side wall, but you're going to angle it in the direction that you want the tip to go in. If that makes sense. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with JC Beauty Concepts 5-in-1 Tornado Bit. It is the same Tornado Bit, but this one is the fine one. Okay. I have all three. So that's why I highly recommend it. So I go in and I'm going to, since I'm not filing bulk, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to file what I don't want on there. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. And I'm going to go around the cuticle and do most of the shaping. But then I'm going to go in and shape and perfect with a hand file because that's what I, I like to do. And I usually use McCart's Half Moon or Half Shape, Half Moon Shape files. It's the 180 grit side. I love using that file for some reason for my finishing because I can use the rounded edge and I go around the cuticle. Yeah, you'll be able to see. But I also have a coupon code with them. It is Jammy. The link is also in the description box. You gotta catch my breath. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in the next step. No fui el primero, ni seré el último, pero sé que lo gozaré. Para serte sincero, un Dios el que te enseñó lo que puedes hacer con mi piel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah. será lo que será, yeah, yeah. Los dos vamos a matar, yeah. yeah. Kept 
going like a marching soldier. Play my part, boy, I had to hold you down. Hold it down. When the tidal waves come around, then wipe off what we built. Would you fight for love or would you back down? All right, you guys, if you do see anything skipped, it's because I was out of frame and it wasn't showing so I would just skip it to the next thing so that you have something to look at now this step is optional I just threw the step in there it is the comb bit and I I just like how it just finishes everything you see how fast I'm going well it looks a lot faster because it's sped up a little bit but it is a quick step to just be able to blend the acrylic into the natural nail and kind of seal the cuticle area um, you don't need to do this, okay? Because I'm going to go in and file and finish anyways. And so, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And now I'm going in with my perfecting and finishing. And then I'm going to get into basically my, my top coat and applying my nail accessories from... Amazon they are listed on my Amazon storefront and the link is in the description box and I did mention that before and then the top coat is by JC Beauty Concepts so always check the description box if you don't see what you see on the video please feel free to ask me I try to answer all of your guys's comments and questions and I really I genuinely do not mind when I have time I literally sit there and I drink my coffee and I go through and I answer as many as I can that's why you always see like I really try to keep up so it'll take me about 20 minutes but it's like 20 minutes here and there throughout the day and I don't mind because sometimes I you know I have 20 minutes what can I say what can I say I probably could use that time to do something else I want you guys to know that you guys are welcome here and that I appreciate you so you guys take time out of your day to be here and to comment so it means a lot to me. So I'm going to take time to show you guys that I appreciate you. Okay. All right. So I didn't realize that I buffed. I buffed on top of that. You don't need to because the 180 grit file and finish is basically like buffing. But you guys, I get a little picky. Okay. <laughs> I'm very picky, especially with my nails. I don't know. You don't need to do that. But if you want to be picking and take a little extra time, then yes, you can do that step. So now I'm going in with isopropyl alcohol. I'm not using swipe because I'm going to go in with top coat. So you want the isopropyl alcohol as your last cleanse before the top coat. Okay. And as you can see, I apply a little bit of the top coat. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I didn't use glue or anything. All I did was use the top coat jc beauty concepts top coat i applied the nail art cured it and then went over a little bit and it lasted so long like it, this just trust me it works especially with these i don't know about stones but since these are a little bit flatter to the nail just know that you can use this top coat that's why i like jc beauty concepts viscosity you can use this top coat and it'll last you. It'll be just fine with the top coat. And I went into the water. We were in the pool. And we were in water slides. And it's perfectly fine, okay? Just letting you know, okay? So that is it, you guys. Hopefully, I was able to throw in a lot of information, a lot of helpful information for you guys. You guys can learn from my mistakes as well. Everyone makes them. So this is a learning process. Don't give up. Trust the process. I love you and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Oh, let me know if you guys like the end result. And also follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I have like 80% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please subscribe and help me out. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Con tus labios rosados Yo me muero Por una prueba de placer Siempre que estoy a tu lado Lo que siento Nadie más lo podrá saber Vamos y sin censura Yo te hago todo a ti dulzura Que paso en tu y yo solo cuéntate Y si tú quieres te pone a buscar 
Como tú lo mueves a pa pam pam, haciendo locura en la mañana. Si alguien te pregunta, no apasiona. Solo amaneciste en mi cama. Dale, ven. 